Make sure you have proper host name configured for your server before installing virtualmin. Check your server host name with this command. It should return your domain name or a subdomain. You need to change it if it's anything other than your domain or subdomain. Use the link in description for further instructions. Next, we'll update apt cache with following commands. You'll get few prompts about file changes. Always opt to keep local versions currently installed. Just hit enter key on your keyboard to continue. This part is similar on all Linux distributions. Download the virtualmin installation script to your server with following command. Run the script to install virtualmin with nginx. Confirm by hitting Y followed by Enter key. Installation can take few minutes depending on your server resources. You'll be greeted with following message on your PuTTY screen when installation completed. Virtualmin script installs PHP v7.0 on server by default. But, you'll need few PHP modules installed on your server for most PHP applications to work. This command will install essential PHP v7.0 modules on your server. You can access virtualmin on this URL with your root password. Make sure you replace example.com with your domain name. Your DNS should be propagated for this to work. If DNS isn't propagated yet, you can replace example.com with your server's IP address.
you will be taken to the virtual min post installation wizard after the login. It is pretty self-explanatory, just remember to select MySQL as database server and only store hashed passwords as password storing method. You'll be good with default selections for all other steps. There is more you can do to secure MySQL databases. But at this point, executing this command will guide you through changing some dangerous default settings. My input for the first question was no. And then yes to everything else. It'll also ask you for a new MySQL password. You don't need to change it here, just type the same password you set on virtual min post installation wizard. That concludes Virtual Min Engine X installation on Ubuntu 16.04 server. Your VPS is now fully configured to host websites using Engine X as the web server.